Alright, hello everybody, Mr. Monster back, and we're going to do another part through the walkthrough here. We're back on the second island, and we're gonna get straight into things. So, I already preloaded these boxes just so uh, I be a little faster to show you guys where to go. We're gonna hop into the first challenge here. Alright, so, right off the bat, we get a little, um, little intro from our weapons we were over there. And he's telling us that we now get to use the roller paintbrush along with the um, little little gun that you get to use as well. So we're getting a feel for the paintbrush here. I don't normally use a gun in this or in the online play. I usually use the uh, dual wields actually. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this thing a try and just do as best we can. Now, they're kind of... It's, it's definitely a different map, and we're definitely getting a different feel, and it definitely is, uh, takes us a little longer to get through this when we're using a weapon that we're not familiar with. So we're going to do our best to keep it on the go here, and I actually line up my shot here. Pow! Take those fools out off that, and then I just get impatient. And basically try and go over there and get, get the kill and get through this as fast as I can. So we're going to climb up this wall, we're going to end lives, and we're going to try our best here not to miss any boxes but you know i always seem to find them when i come through on the second round but i catch this on the first time this little secret box here we find a little drum bowl thing and even uh even the person's congratulating us and then you hit that with paint and you just spear it up so you get uh, nice and then these little things come out of nowhere and i was not sure what to do and um we actually ended up almost dying because of those things and, You'll see that happen again one more time where we almost died of those things. They, they tend to be quite annoying actually, but we finally get a feel for them towards the end of this and uh, we start taking care of them, taking care of our business. But uh, you see more of them coming out of me right here and then I end up flying off the map on accident trying to avoid more of them crashing into me. So we're gonna speed back over there. More usual shit in my way. Alright, so um actually you see how this thing is used in the gameplay. Some of those guys have that uh, that vertical throw and that I don't know how they do that honestly, I guess it just takes learning this weapon. But I have not Taking the time to do it, you know, play with. And I guess that's my bad, but I don't know. I like the, uh, I like my dual wheel to kick an ass later. If you guys haven't seen, that's, uh, some of my online play. The next, by, the next, um, uh, next online play that we're gonna release in the next video, we're gonna be actually be starting ranked battles. Hopefully, we're ready for that. Until then, we're gonna knock these squids out the air and just, just do it. Look at him. He is just shaking around like a little. I don't know what you call it, he's just shaking and moving and grooving over there. Finally take his ass out, and we see the arrow sung for the go, and we actually hit the arrow before we get the boxes right there. So once again, we're like, well, damn it, send me back, I want to get those boxes, I want to see what's in there. And I really want to just, you know, beat this level, but, you know, just miss more boxes. I seem to do that every single game, but look at that dude up there, look at that dude. He is up there throwing things down at me. It's like it's like Mario Kong, Mar Mario Kong. It's like the original <laughs> Mario and uh, Donkey Kong. Look at this dude. He's got his little little goggles on. We're just sitting here trying to load and throw paint at his ass. And it's just, it's just, we're struggling with this weapon, honestly. It's, it's honestly what's going on here. We're struggling with this weapon, not even a lie. But uh, we see that, and obviously we can't. Uh, Shoot it like you can with Dragon Balls, you actually gotta go up there and get that cannon tuna. See, see, I was hoping it would just continue to give me all the boxes, but it didn't. So then we see this little black box in the bottom, you actually have to throw paint to get the tuna, which is kind of annoying for me. Because I don't like this weapon as it is, and it has like no distance. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop hating on this weapon because some people actually be, be doing really good with it. And if you're one of those people, then ain't no power to you. Alright, we're gonna climb up this wall. It's gonna be painted enough. Yeah, we're, we're struggling with this weapon. It's all good. 
And then uh, there's all these guys right here, and we use our special, and it's actually, if you let go of it, you can actually re-aim it, but it just, I don't know, that weapon was, I used it at the wrong time. I didn't realize what it was, I guess. And I just, look at these dudes, they're just coughing up those rolls, those little rugs, spinning them at me. Like, what the hell's up with that? How many of those things can they swallow at a time, huh? Who those guys? Alright, so we jump over here, we get a little boring bag. More of these little, like, I don't know, rocket flare kamikaze guys coming at me. Trying to take me out themselves. And we're gonna try and clear that. Clear that Dragon Ball. I sound like I started seeing it. That was weird. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, Alright, let's continue here. Going up, we're gonna make our way across this little bridge. We hit another checkpoint right there, which is awesome. And then I'm like, hey, is there a hidden box down there? And no, there's not. Yeah, that's good. So we get, oh, we get the bowling bag. You know, gotta have your bowling bag, your bowling shoes, be ready for later. It's a uh, Sunday night, you know, two for one to, yeah, I don't know, okay. uh, <laughs> I'm playing this, I'm not bowling, come on. Alright, so we're looking for these boxes, we're looking for extra items like that, boom, pow, that's our bowling bag, that's what we want. And we gotta paint this, we gotta go up it, and this guy is over here spitting these rugs at me, man, look at him. And we just, we literally, oh, we almost, we almost got knocked off, we just roll over that pool, and I don't see the point of this launch, there's a total extra launch in order to get the little zappy friend that we're gonna rescue. So that's the first level. Yeah, and now I'm going to show you where the next one is. Before we start it and hop into things. So he basically tells us that we can swap back over to the other gun. And we're like, exactly what we're going to do. Because we're not feeling that roller. Wasn't feeling it. Let's switch back to our real gun here. And so if you shoot over your way over here. You climb up this wall. Give me a little zap. Make sure you stay in squid form so you can go through that fence right there. And we're gonna shoot this one for fun. Fuck it. I want that Dragon Ball. Real quick, like. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, scoot our way through this next teapot looking thing. And get ready for the next portion. The next uh, next level. Next next zappy fish that we're gonna save. Next hoorah. Next mission. Next completed. Alright, I'm done. Alright, so let's go down here. And this, this next mission actually got quite interesting. So I shoot that and I'd be completely extra because it's great that just walk over there. That was completely extra. I mean. And then you see that thing and I'm like, what in the world is that? And actually, that is one of those um, ink eaters. It's like an ink cleaner basically. And uh, you'll see later in this map, we actually end up needing those tools to get around. And I actually end up messing up right there, pretending. I, I didn't know if there was going to be a. Uh, box down there and then you can see that those ink things can actually do some big damage to you if you let them get you good so we're gonna get these boxes out of the way and climb up this wall and as you can see there's another ink thing there and these things are everywhere and that one was hiding from me I didn't see it at first and we take that guy out just head on you know most of these guys are weak enough to where you can just head on take them out and yeah so we basically have to bait this ink thing to come over to us climb up the wall and then jump back on top of them. And that's how you get a cross right here. You also get a free little bowling bag if you do that. And um, I didn't show it to you here, but if you actually um, if you actually uh, throw a bomb, one of your ink bombs, he actually chases those. So throw one of your ink bombs there, and he'll chase it over to the wall, and you won't have to get off of it at all. And then pop out for the ink a little sooner so you can get that last little, uh, last little dragon ball right there. And we're gonna come over and there's more little uh, little squids guys here. And I wonder, you know, these all these squids are alive, but they all they just look like one tentacle. Like I feel it feels like some big squid split up and they just sent out eight little tentacles and that was him, you know what I mean? And he's like, I'm gonna send out eight me's instead of one big me. And that's just that's what I feel like something more effective. I mean, honestly, it's not more effective. But then we get this little, um, basically, it looks like a, one of those garden gnome hoses. Not sprinkles. Garden sprinkles? Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Alright, so we move on to the next portion here, and we can see right away 
Then we have another spongy, spongy, spongy cleaner, graffiti cleaner, street work, or whatever you want to call it. One of those things to deal with, and we actually end up needing that thing to get around this map. I mean, you can get around the map pretty much by yourself, but to get to the other side of the map, you actually need that thing. And that guy actually moved and fell off right there, which is, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I didn't expect him to fall off, I think he'd stay up on the high ground where he had an advantage. But he doesn't. And we ended up <laughs> actually throw the bomb perfectly on top of the squeegee there. That was completely an accident. I was actually trying to uh, feed the bomb to come to me so that I could uh, hop on top of it. But uh, it, it worked out, right? So then we take this guy out and we take this saran wrap box out. And I'm like, getting real sick of these saran wrap boxes, right? Like, just basically using up all my time. So you hop on top of him, hop on top of the next there, and uh, that's pow over to the next area. And this level is definitely feeling longer than, uh, than the last one. We're trying to shoot the box up there, and we see there's a frog leg. We're like, well, damn, how, how do I get that? How do I get that frog leg? And we're sitting here trying to figure it out. Can't jump up there. And you'll see in a minute here that uh, we actually end up figuring it out. We make a path all the way over here, and it looks like one of those squeegee things is trapped. And I'm like, oh, okay. If I can hop on top of that, I could save the, um, I could get the leg. But you actually can't get that yet. Just not quite yet. And I actually forget to go down that lower level right there and see if there's any hidden items. You guys are uh, more than free to do so. But uh, we're gonna climb up this wall and. I should really be working on trying to get more of those hidden items so I can upgrade my weapons and hopefully uh, make make this gameplay a little easier for myself. But we're not. We're, uh, we still haven't upgraded anything. We're just nice and enjoying the struggle of using beginning weapons on later stages. So there's a squeegee there and this dude's kind of pissing me off because you know, I have to jump on there and get up before he eats all my ink. And we actually end up just barely making it. As you see the checkpoint there, thank goodness, so if we case we mess up, we get to go back to that checkpoint. Get, gotta hop out of your squid form so you can hop out of your, uh, eat that onion ring there. And you actually end up getting a key at the top where we, uh, before we came down to eat our onion ring. And that key was gonna let loose this, uh, squeegee guy who hits me, hits me immediately afterwards. Which is just like, god damn man, I just freed you, you wanna, like, do me a favor? What's up with that? can't just like help me out. So we throw a bomb over there because those things are highly attracted to ink bombs. They just love ink. They eat that shit up all day. Alright, so we hit our little um little fire hydrant thing there. And we move on to the next section of the map. And man, this is a long episode, isn't it? Longer than usual anyway. And we only did two levels per usual. So I mean I don't think we're doing anything different. The levels are just starting to be long, so we might actually have to change and uh, start going back to one, or not one, start going to one level at a time as these levels, as these levels get longer and longer. Um, so we find another key there, and the key actually, the arrow is telling me what to do with the key, but I'm more focused on these, these buffoons over there. Then I realize, oh look. And I miss it. I actually wanted to hop on top of the uh, squeegee guy there, but I, <laughs> I messed up. And then I noticed to my left here that there's some Dragon Balls on the wall. I'm like, oh, well, look at that. I can just go up the wall and avoid the entire scenario going on down there. Get a little havoc with the squeegee killing everybody. I can just stay up top, not to worry about it. Reload in the corners where I get my good stance. Take all these fools out. I missed the green balloon. I'm sad. I'm wondering what's in that green balloon. I don't see green balloons. Alright, so I'm rambling. And we're killing. And we, I'm gonna, you're gonna see, I'm gonna skip ahead here because basically what you have to do is you have to get on top of the squeegee in order to get on top of there. So I skipped forward to where I got the squeegee to come all the way back to the other side of the map where I need them to. And yeah, you have to throw, throw the bombs, track them. And that's how you get up here. You have to squeegee and then jump on. So it took a minute, unfortunately, but that's how you get up there. And then uh, that's how we save the second Zapfish, and that's it for... Uh... Alright, so that's it. We saved the last Zapfish, and that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.